is to show you how to remove a central venous catheter. To begin with, we always want to verify the physician's order prior to removing. Secondly, if another IV line is needed, we'd like to start that prior to removing the old central line. As always, when you enter a patient's room, you want to introduce yourself and identify the patient using two types of identifiers. We always explain the procedures to the patient and provide for privacy. For a central line removal, we'll need clean gloves, sterile gloves, a suture removal kit, your chloroprep or chlorhexidine wipes, sterile gauze, a sterile tachyderm or transparent dressing. We'll want sterile tape, and we also need a mask for ourselves and one for the patient. We'll want to apply the mask to our patient and one to ourselves. And after we've done that, we would perform hand hygiene and put on our clean gloves. When removing the old dressing from a central line, we want to take our non-dominant hand and place over the insertion site, just to ensure that we don't pull anything loose while we're removing that dressing. You'll peel that dressing inward towards the insertion site from all four corners. And then at that point, we have that ready to just take off. So if you go ahead and pull that dressing off completely, and then we can remove our gloves and again, perform hand hygiene and dry our hands. Then we would want to start opening our sterile supplies. We can open our sterile gloves and we'll do all these in the sterile fashion. Open your chloroprep, your sterile dressing, and your tachyderm. And then we'll have our tape ready for the end of the procedure as well. So we want to don our sterile gloves. Once we have our sterile gloves on, we can go ahead and begin the rest of the procedure. Firstly, we want to take our chlorhexidine wipe or chloroprep, and we want to pop that, and we want to clean from the insertion site in a circular motion for around 30 seconds, and we want to allow that area to dry. Again, we have our mask on, the patient has their mask on, and their head turned away as we're doing this. Once the site is clean, if there are sutures in place, we would want to take our sterile suture removal scissors and remove those stitches. And then we'll take our sterile gauze and we're gonna place this over the insertion site with our non-dominant hand. With our dominant hand, we're gonna ask the patient to hold their breath and perform the Valsalva maneuver. And the patient should be laying supine or at a 10 degree Trendelenburg angle during removal. We'll slowly but continuously pull the catheter tip out about one inch at a time, ensuring that you have no resistance and once that catheter is out, we'll inspect the tip to ensure that everything is intact. If you needed to get a specimen, you would at this point take sterile scissors and clip the tip of the catheter into a sterile specimen cup to send to lab. We will throw this into your biohazard bin and we'll continue to hold pressure on the site until the patient has met homeostasis and there is no signs of bleeding. And then we will apply a new sterile gauze with a tagaderm or transparent dressing over 
We'll date, time, and label this. Once we have completed the procedure, we'll clean up our area, wash our hands, ensure that the patient is comfortable and that their needs are met, and we will document how the patient tolerated and the appearance of the catheter and any specific findings that we may have found during the procedure. And that is central line catheter removal.